So, Lindsay, we're both teachers, and you know, sometimes our, our students uh, go off to camp over, over the summer break. Did you ever go to camp when you were younger? I did go to camp. The camp I went to is called Pilgrim Pines. Oh, what was that like? Uh, it was great. Uh, it was one week away from my family, and each person got to take care of an animal. Uh, some people took care of horses. Some people took care of sheep. Uh, but I got the lucky task of taking care of Xanadu the llama. <laughs> what was that like? Oh, it was awesome. I, when I was a kid, my favorite animal was a llama. So uh, that's why we looked into this camp to begin with. And uh, I had to brush it uh, and I had to feed the llama. And it was such a sweet llama that uh, I really fell in love with it. And every day I'd wake up and feed the llama and brush it. And then uh, in the afternoon, I'd also come and visit the llama. Xanadu was his name. But um, a couple of times he got mad. I'm not exactly, I can't remember why actually he was upset. But uh, when llamas are mad, uh, do you know what they do? I don't know. They actually spit. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, and you have to be, and then they get, if they spit at you, that means they're really upset and they can be dangerous. I mean, I was only 10 at the time, so the llama was a lot bigger than me. Mm -hmm. uh, and one time it, it spit at me and the spit got stuck in my hair and it was this really thick, gross, uh, mucusy spit. Oh. Um, and that really uh, struck an image in my mind. I can't ever kind of forget that llama spitting at me. And then after, I think, for a day, I was afraid of the llama. Um, and then my counselor, my camp counselor, who was in charge of all the children, uh, had a talk with me and told me how, you know, sometimes llamas get mad just like people get mad. Mm -hmm. and I need to forgive the llama. And uh, I did. And then the next day I went and, uh, and fed the llama and brushed the llama and everything was back to normal. But it was a really good experience to learn how to take care of a pet. Mm -hmm. Um, and good experience to be away from my family for the first time. Hmm. Um, so I guess there were other kids at the camp too. Did you guys all eat together? Uh, yeah, we had the like a mess hall, they called it, which is basically a cafeteria. The food was disgusting. I remember <laughs> losing a lot of weight when I came home. Mm -hmm. And my mom would uh, send me packages of chocolate and cookies and I would eat it all. Uh, but... Yes, we all ate together this, like, gross cafeteria slob food, uh, like sloppy joe for uh, lunch. Right. Or, you know, just imagine, like, turkey and gravy for dinner, but the turkey was the, kind of a blue color or something. Mm -hmm. Everything was just a little bit gross. But uh, and at one time, we had a food fight, and that was absolutely <laughs> amazing. Um, this one kid get, got upset. The other kid threw some mashed potatoes, and the next thing you know, turkeys flying, mashed potatoes flying, everything. Everyone's getting involved, and uh, that was really fun. The food fight.